The new Hell Roaring Mountain DLC map is out. Just released as part of Wolfcrest Anniversary Edition version 1.1.2. Available now on Steam or via the Wolfcrest Game Launcher. It's a $10 DLC purchase. Hell Roaring Mountain is in northern Yellowstone National Park, a few kilometers to the west of Slough Creek, a little further from Amethyst Mountain, and our new map is right on the border. The size of the map is 8 by 8 kilometers. That is a kilometer on each side, more than the 7x7 7 7 kilometer Amethyst and Slough Creek maps, and because of the wonders of geometry, that means it's got 30% more area to explore. This map is on the northern border of Yellowstone, but actually it extends about a kilometer north of the border. Now, wolves are protected inside the National Park, but not outside the park. So, hmm. Anyways, it has all the animals that you'll find on the other Yellowstone maps, except for beavers. The uh, topography here is just too steep. There aren't any of the slow-moving creeks that beavers like to dam up and lodge on. But there is one new animal, a wolverine. Wolverines only live in a couple pockets within the National Park. But fortunately for us, this is one of them. Wolverines, you know, size matters not when it comes to wolverines. They are fierce and feisty, and they act like they're about 10 times bigger than they actually are. So watch out if you come across one at a carcass. This map has some neat features. It has Hell Roaring Mountain itself, the massive granite mountain, the biggest granite mountain in Yellowstone, rises in the middle of the map, down the steep valley just to the east. Hell Roaring Creek rips and roils its way down to its confluence with the Yellowstone. There's actually 10 creeks and rivers on this map. That's three times more than any other map. So if you like creeks, this is the map for you. To the west of Hell Roaring Mountain is this highland area here, which is great for summer hunting grounds. A little further down the slope is lots of good denning area, as is on the south side of the Yellowstone River. And there's actually three geologic areas in this map, although that's a great simplification. There's the, the granite and nice area of Elroy Mountain and these highlands. Down in the southeast, as the Yellowstone comes into the map, the main rock is rhyolite, similar to the Tower Fall area. And as the Yellowstone flows down through the Black Canyon, it becomes mainly basalt due to lava outflows many, many, many years ago, which uh, cooled and turned into basalt and often fractured and broke up and formed these large boulder fields. What else we got here? There's 15 new achievements for uh, doing various things with and without your pups inside and outside the park. And we've got some new dreams featuring wolverines and other interesting things that you'll find on the map. So it's available now. It is 10 US dollars. You can preview the map just like with Lost River. If you start a new game, you can preview it and run around a little bit, get a feel for it. Although it is bigger than the other Yellowstone maps, it should be about the same in terms of performance on your computer, but you can check it out and make sure. And then, as with our other deal, say you buy it from in the game, either going to Steam or if you purchase it from Itch.io, we'll send you there to purchase it and then register your purchase with your WolfQuest account. All DLC purchases, all game purchases and DLC purchases support the ongoing development of the game, including the Saga, which will be a big free expansion later this year. So we appreciate all your purchases. Please uh, get the update, should be automatic. Check it out and uh, we hope to see you running around the slopes of Hell Roaring Mountain.